Okay, so this is the inside of my uh, AC unit. This is the outdoor part, the Lennox. If you remember in the video I made a tour of the house, this wasn't working. I determined I'm not getting 24 volts to the contactor. These two black wires here go to it. Now the problem is, well, it was originally controlled by that thing up there, that box. So the power company can like turn it on and off to save you energy. Well that's disconnected because that's not even, no status lights are on it. And I also got the main contact wire here going, runs inside the building. And it's disconnected at the furnace. So there's no power getting to this. So I'm in the midst of re trying to rewire it. Now, the blue and the green were originally hooked up. I switched it the way it is on the inside. I put red on black, white on common. This black is Y1. I'm assuming that's correct. I don't really know. Contactors are what, 50 bucks? Can't be all that expensive if I burn it up. But we'll find out. It doesn't work one way, I do it another way. Before I even hook it up, I'll make sure I'm getting power. Just so uh, I know this wiring is intact. If not, I'll run some new wire out here. Dirty, but when I press this in it does start and it's nice and quiet compressor runs fan runs the capacitor doesn't appear to be bulging so I removed the old wire it's floating down there I'll tie it up so this is the main thermostat wire coming in to sends the 24 volts to here I'm getting 24 volts at the board on the furnace so that's good furnace was replaced in 2019 according to the according to the manufacturer date this is the info on the Linux right here if you're curious the information R22 so let's go inside and wire it up in there okay here we are at the main unit this wire coming out here looks like ordinary Ethernet cable got right in the red they were spliced to another wire which is right here it was like electrical tape with wire nuts Runs up to there, not, and it's not even connected. Here's the wire right here, which runs out to the unit outside. It's not even connected. I just happened to notice it behind the water here. I'm like, what does this go to? Trying to figure out where the wire came in from inside, and like, well, here it is. So, around a piece of sp if this, is, I don't think this is going to reach over to here. Now, because now the now I'm have to get like a adapter or something to make this just a little bit longer and then I'll connect it via this hole on the side right here I'll feed it through make it nice and tight safe but for now I'll just feed it through this rubber grommet and into the board then I'll worry about getting a coupler or something for it later I sh think I still have some of this aluminum flex I think this is 3 8 I think I still I think I got some somewhere if I have any I don't need a lot of it just need like a coupler or something because this is not going to reach as is so obviously when they replaced the furnace, they never hooked it back up. So, let's go ahead and wire it. Alright, got the speaker wire hooked up here. Red on C, black on Y. White was on Y. So C will be common, I'll hook it up that way out there. Up through here, through the hole there. Wire in there would be the old wire. If it works, then I'll install some clamps temporarily just to so they don't rub and short out. This is the main thermostat wire. So I'll go ahead and set the thermostat to cool, come outside, and see if we're getting 24 volts out there, if this wire is wiring's intact or not. I don't have to replace it. So let's go see what's going on. All right, indoor fan is running, set the cool. Meter is here. I'm gonna be able to plop this so you can see. Try and do this with one hand. I'm getting 24 volts or not out here, so bear with me as I try to do this without shorting something out. Yeah, we're getting power. I know it's kind of all over the place. I'm not making a good connection trying to do it one-handed. But... So we are getting power, so I'll shut it off, wire it up, and we should have power.
All right, it's wired up now. Contactor pulled in. It's energized. I got the thing pulled out. So as soon as I plug this in, this thing should start up. So, fingers crossed. I gotta do something about that stupid door. This should start. I think the compressor started, or maybe it didn't. Hard to tell. I think it's running. The compressor. I'll let it run for a bit and we'll see if it gets warm. It's not really much of a load. Well, it's very quiet. It's a little bit warm depending where you put it. But this small line is warm. This is cold coming back. So it's doing something. Let's go in the house and see if to it, see if it's any air, what the cold air is. Okay, we're at my vent in my room. It's blowing cold. Cool, it's cooler. I mean, not ice cold. Probably about the temperature my window air conditioner puts out. I don't know where my temp gun is at the moment. I'm still in the midst of unpacking. I checked all the usual places, but I don't know where it's at right now. So I can't give you a temperature measurement. Of the air. There's not much of a load in here anyway. Real test to come when it's like warm again. It's like 70 outside today and it's going to be like 60 tomorrow. So. But it is up and running. So. But there isn't really much of a load. So. Won't know how well it performs or it doesn't perform. Until it's a uh, warm out. And if it's underperforming I can at least with it running. I can always have some company come out for like a tune-up, you know, top off the charge, clean the coils. That shouldn't be too much, like a tune-up special. Because the main thing is it's running. So it shouldn't cost too much to have it topped off the charge if it needs it. So I got central air again.